Say hello to my little friend. His name is Fred. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am fat, I am naked, and well I'm wearing a face hugger from the movie Alien, but I am otherwise fat and naked, therefore this is a naked blog where we are naked, not to be sexy because I don't need the help, but rather to be honest, open, and truthful, and prove that we have nothing to hide. And this week, Trisha Hirschberger has elected that what we are to talk about is our favorite fandom purchase. And of course, my favorite fandom purchase is probably Fred here, but I had to had to think quite a lot about it. This is this is a face hugger from the movie Alien. And I named him Fred. I'm gonna do that with my nose. Yeah, that's not gross at all, me me playing with my nose like that. Yeah. Anyway, so I got him at Think Geek, and of course I have actually had a number of videos that have featured Fred, and here's the thing. Um, unfortunately, Fred is made in China, and I looked at Fred, and I thought about it, and I read news articles on the horrible working conditions in China, and I thought how ashamed I was of myself for buying a luxury item probably produced through human suffering. So. Fred is kind of the last fandom purchase that I made. I I know for something I purchased some Robo, uh, Robocop stuff after that because somebody asked me to, to make a review of the film Robocop. So I said, well, okay, I, I purchased Robocop and I got a couple of comic books because there was a lot of them on eBay. And I think I may have gotten like a statue or something because I wanted to, to do very well for this review. And there was that. But that was, I consider that more of a work-related thing. And in any case, here's the thing, is that after purchasing Fred here, I realized that I didn't want to purchase any more fan stuff, because I have enough garbage. And just to give you a, a story there, what happened, um, I went on a three-day trip got time off from work, I believe this was 2016, uh, 2006, so 10 years ago, sometime around there, it might have been 2007, and uh, my family thought I was dead, they didn't, they called my cell phone once, didn't get an answer because I was in a car, didn't want to be rude, and disrupt the uh, the driver by talking while, while they were driving, so uh, they thought I was dead and started rifling through my crap, and I realized at that point that really what would happen if I kept collecting this is that eventually I would die and what there would be left would be a bunch of crap that my fam- Oh, my neighbors. It's 9.30 at night. I'm sure somebody is sleeping because they have work tomorrow. They're my neighbors. Anyway, so I realized when I die what's probably going to happen is all the collectibles I've had over the years who either get dumped in the trash or maybe sold by a bunch of people who won't appreciate them. So that's when I stopped. I stopped collecting things. And what I mean by I stopped collecting things is I still collect experiences. So whereas I certainly love Fred here, and he accompanies me on a number of my uh, uh, videos, I have something here that is definitely a fandom purchase. Uh... Oh, come on. These are supposed to be candid, so th this is very candid here. Last video was a helicopter, now it's a motorcycle. Anyway, these are uh, Ghostbusters Slammer Twinkies. And they're, they're Key Lime, limited edition. And I have purchased these so I can have the experience of tasting them, even though I think they're going to be awful. Now, let's be clear here. I watched the last Ghostbusters movie. It wasn't a great movie. It was an okay movie. It was a dumb movie, but it's a comedy, and you can kind of forgive that. Whereas the real Ghostbusters, uh, the original Ghostbusters film was more of a dramedy, and the original television show, which was a live action from the 70s predating the film, was 
funny in a goofy sort of way. It's like the new one, it's all about special effects and what you can make a video game out of. But, because I collect experiences, I am going to have these Key Lime Green Slime Limited Edition Twinkies, and I am going to write a review of them and put it up on my blog, because I collect experiences, and I share those experiences. Because the one thing that, even if I die, can never be undone, unless, of course, there's some sort of a uh, solar flare apocalypse, is the fact that I've reviewed things. So once it's on the internet, it's pretty much there for a while. So that's the one thing. I have to say, yes, I am happy with my Freddy here. I'm not happy with the concept that I spent a lot of money on useless crap that now sits in a box in my house. Now I have... It's difficult for me to show it to you. I have something else. Not really a fandom purchase. But it's something I would like to share with you. I have... Uh, I built... Uh, well, it's kind of too much to say that I actually manufactured this, but I put this together myself. I don't think the light really does it justice, but um, what I have here, this is something that I that I collected, rather, and had a hand in, in constructing. This is the kind of thing that I collect now. These are, of course, glass maple leaves, and I filled them with various colors of fluid so that they look like leaves in various stages of uh, fall. Like this, this would be a, a summer, end of summer leaf because it's that beautiful green color, and here's kind of a red leaf and. You know, these aren't a fandom thing, except for the fact that I kind of collect jars, but here's the thing. If you saw these at a uh, estate sale, you probably wouldn't pay more than 50 cents for a lot of them. But what happened with these is I, I made myself lunch, and I actually made myself uh, French toast. And I would get these, these maple leaf bottles of maple syrup. And I would take them to work with me, and then I would save the bottle and clean it out. And I eventually saved five of them and, and made this little uh, piece of artwork, and, and I keep it in my dining room. And here's the thing. It means something to me. As opposed to Fred here, that as much as Fred is worth a lot more than those bottles, if something were to happen to my Fred... I could get an exact duplicate. I could just buy another one made with horrible slave labor in China and have another fret. But for me to get these bottles again would be a much, uh, much more enduring process. I had to mix the colors myself and I actually had to do something. So I don't collect junk. I collect things, pieces of art that are unique. I stop collecting junk. Because as much as I enjoy my Fred here, we buy too much crap. And we buy it irresponsibly. And when I say we buy it irresponsibly, we don't care if somebody suffered to make it. So that's kind of my thing, is that as much as I would still like to buy Star Wars toys, I don't want anybody suffering so I could have a stinking piece of plastic shaped like an X-Wing. So every time I look at Fred here, I am shameful and sad. And every time I look at this, I realize that a real maple tree had to be tapped. So somebody actually had to get out there and make real maple syrup. Not corn syrup, which is what you find in stores most of the time, but something real. That's my thing there. I celebrate craftsmanship, not fandoms. I'm not a nerd. You might want to classify me as a nerd because I know a lot of nerd-esque things. I guess you would say I'm smart, although it's never done anything for me. But, you know, this fandom thing, it's silly. Somebody once asked me if I was going to Comic-Con, and I said, why? There's nothing there for me. I'm not going to go spend hundreds of dollars on a bunch of stuff 
to sit in a box somewhere. I've already done that. I've grown out of that phase of my life. So, that's my thing. And because it is customary in cases like this to ask a question, I would have to ask first the question, is there a way that any of you think I could turn Fred here into a unique piece of art? That's question number one. And question number two, how could we celebrate our fandoms responsibly? Those are my two questions. Feel free to answer them any way you would like, including in the comments below. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And maybe give this video a like so that I know that I should make more of them. I'm Richard.